Hey, it's Clay. Hope you guys are doing well. Welcome to another video. This video is going to be on the topic of treble bleed circuits. Uh, I'm going to walk through some of the different ways that you can do it, try and discuss what the different components are doing in each setup, and also provide a little bit of a tone clip. Um, I tried setting up kind of an example where I could test a lot of different things, and I had a difficult time um, just because it became very noisy. So my tone clip is really just going to have a before and after as far as the values that I end up choosing. But um, hopefully I can give you some understanding of what's going on and if you're having some problems or experiences I can give you the tools to deal with it uh, and get it dialed in the best way that you can. Um, in my experience, a treble bleed circuit is an awesome way to solve the problem when you roll your volume back, it gets darker. But um, I have also found that depending on the values of the components that you use or whether you run it in series or parallel can make a big difference as to how the treble bleed circuit operates and um, just kind of the overall usefulness. Uh, for example, I find if you just use a capacitor, like maybe a .022 cap, um, it will get very, very piercingly bright when you get down to about two or three on the volume control. Um, and the idea there is that almost everything is uh, being bled to ground except for very high frequencies that pass that threshold of the .022 cap. Um, so in my experience, it's best to either go in parallel or series. Now, I'll just tell you in my experience from my testing, the values that I tend to prefer is to use a capacitor and resistor in parallel, and I like to use a .0001 cap, and the resistor that I like to use is approximately half of the value of the pot. In my experience, that's kind of the sweet spot for keeping the pot to kind of operate the way you want it and to get an even amount of brightness as you roll back down. And, and basically the, the value of the cap there um, and the value of the resistor are working together to kind of create that scenario. So hopefully I can display that here with the tone clip. Let's go ahead and get started with the tone example. This is the stock guitar. I just have a 250K pot and um, use the bridge pickup. I'm running into a Fuchs ODS. I'm just gonna set it clean. Um, this is also very um, important you know, for dirty amps as well. And I'm just going to go ahead and do this test using a clean amp so you can really hear what's going on. But I have found that, um, again, this is all subject to interpretation. And if depending on how you run your amps, you may want a little bit of a different setup. It's just something you're going to have to experiment with. 